In this problem, we're going to be looking at how quickly we need to spin this space station in terms of revolutions per hour to create the sense of a gravitational field of 2.9 newtons per kilogram. Now, obviously, we are not making a real gravitational field, but to a person on the ship, it will seem just like a gravitational field. They will experience a force normal from the walls or the floor of the space station, depending on how you're looking at it. That normal force will be pushing them toward the center of the station, and this will be necessary to keep them in circular motion. Without the walls of the space station, the person would travel in a straight line, as their natural tendency would dictate. So since we're moving in a circle, we use our formula for the circular acceleration, which we know is v squared over r. We know we want to create an acceleration in this case of 2.9. And we know the size of the station is 539 meters for the radius. So we could solve for the speed that the station edges need to be traveling. We could then figure out how far the station is going to travel in terms of a distance over a one hour time frame. Once we know the distance traveled, we could take that distance, divide by the circumference of the space station, and the result will be the number of revolutions it will do in one hour, which was our original goal. So this will allow us to figure out how many revolutions per hour we need to give our space station to create the, sens the sensation of gravity that we would like to produce.